How does this kid expect to survive two seconds in Lolaro if he's... Well, well, well. Look at this. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I wake you? Huh? What? We're in a blacksmith shop. But she said low roll. What the heck's going on? Wait. How was your nap? Uh, abrupt? Don't even know why I brought you back. Should have left you there, passed out in the middle of the road. Now that you're awake, I see you're okay. And you can see yourself to the door. Go on now. Scoot. It, but aren't you... What do you... What do you want this time? Here I am taking all this time just to go help folks out. Since when did I get so nice? The nerve. Passing out right in front of the middle of the road and then mumbling the name. What was it? Gully? Whoever heard of such a name? Even if I had kids, I would never name one Gully. Now, go on. Scoot. Hmm. Well, I guess we we're saved by her. Thank you. Huh? What's going on? Can you hear me, Hero of Hyrule? It is I, Princess Hilda. I want to warn you about the kingdom in which you found yourself. My Lowell may remind you of your home, but in fact, our kingdoms are as different as night and day. Worlds apart, as they say. But Yuka's scheme has forced our two kingdoms closer together, so close that now they are connected. What's more, the seven sages you seek are spread across my land, locked away in dungeons. But because parts of Loro have long crumbled away, you cannot get to them where you are now. To reach them, you must find a way back to Hyrule. From various parts of your world, you can reach the same parts of mine. Now, one more thing. I have welcomed you to a low rule, but my kingdom, it isn't so welcome to strangers. Farewell, and be careful out there, Link. And now we find ourselves in a strange new world, with nothing but a mission to save all the sages and Princess Zelda. Well, let's get started. Hello everybody, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda a Link Between Worlds. So, yeah, we are now in the second half of the game. We are in low roll. And if we actually take a look at our map, you're gonna see that there are seven points that you can go to on the map. What this does now is, this isn't a set, okay, you have to go to this point and go to this point in a particular order. Well. For two door, uh, two dungeons, sort of, but for the rest of them, your entire map right now is what you got in front of you. You can go to any dungeon, so we're gonna go into one dungeon in particular, to the one that's close by to us. First thing, let's activate another weather vane, and yes, as strange as it is, why are you activating a weather vane? Wouldn't that just be save points in low rule? Well. In A Link to the Past, you couldn't warp around. In this game, somehow the broomstick that we got is still works here. I do not know why. No, I am not saving. So anyways, everything here wants to kill you. So let's go over here. <sighs> so anyways, oh wait, I actually forgot something. I need to go back. <sighs> Sorry, I got distracted by everything wanting to kill me. First thing what we want to do is go back over here and then pop up this little guy. My my 41. Ugh. I apologize. Okay, so now we will go back over there. So see you then. Okay, sorry about that. Welcome to Thieves Town. Not to be confused with our old Kakariko village. This place is really treacherous. And when I say treacherous, it's bad. First thing, want to tackle this tree right here for my my 42. All right. Yeah, so we're going to be trying to collect a lot of stuff in this part before the next dungeon. And speaking about collectibles, uh, this minigame. This is for collecting a piece of heart. So basically, if you're familiar with A Link to the Past, this is the chest opening minigame where you have a random piece of heart. It costs 200 rupees to do it, so if you don't want to lose any of your money, I would recommend going back to the save point and saving first before trying this. Let's see if I get the luck of the draw on my first try. Okay. 
So the objective, open three boxes. If you open uh, three and you don't get a piece of heart, well, shit luck for you. First one, silver rupees. Okay, not bad. Second box, 300 rupees. All right, at least I got double war from my money back. And finally, I'm fucking speechless right now. What the fuck? Okay, <laughs> oh God, I never get it the first try. It usually takes me two or three. All right, buddy, thank you. Uh, th this was the best run of this ever. I hope I do not have to scrap this recorded because that was beautiful. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, it, it really does take me a few attempts in order to get that. Anyways, what we're going to be doing is let's head off to the bar right here. In order to enter our next dungeon, well, we're going to need to learn something. And this guy right here knows it. Met the boss of our little village here? <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't waste time on someone like you. He's busy stashing away that new painting he's got. New painting, you say? Alright, well, that gives us a hint that one of the sages is nearby. Things must be worth a fortune. If the thief girl knows where it is, she best keep her trap shut, unless she wants to tell me where it is. <laughs> that whole thing kind of inspired me, actually. Want to hear my latest ditty? And this is a song we're going to need to learn. So, oh ho ho, wrong place, wrong time. The boss will be glad to put you back in line. A smart thief... Fears the boss's wrath. I'd rather be walking on a cliff, uh, walking on a cliff, walking a narrow path. All right. So basically, this is a song that we're going to need to learn and keep this in mind. We're going to be coming back to use this later on. Well, not particularly the milk bar, but just in general. Okay. So let's pick up some rupees nearby. Yeah. Low roll, though it be very treacherous. I sound like a pirate. Though it be very treacherous, matey. That was horrible. <laughs> it, though it, it will be treacherous, there is a lot of loot. Like, honestly. Low roll, a lot of loot. Anyways, my, my, 43. Sweet. Okay. All right. Now, there's one piece of heart I want to get. And... We saw this earlier when we entered Low Rule last part. This is a fissure. These will be scattered throughout Low Rule and High Rule now. What you can do is enter these, and when you do, you can actually enter to the opposite world. So, for example, if we enter this one, let's go back to High Rule. Okay, and the reason why we're actually in here is we're gonna spy our girls. No, no, that's horrible. Actually, this is for. Piece of Heart 16. I, I snuck in through an interdimensional portal. Don't mind me. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? I didn't even say a word, but uh, we'll get a piece of heart out of it. Sweet. And now we got 10 heart containers. Awesome. Still doesn't help us in low rule on hero mode. Trust me. I didn't get hit by any of the enemies, but... They will hit you like a goddamn tank! Wait, uh, no, they won't... Uh, yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll hit you, they'll hit you pretty freaking hard. So, my recommendations, don't do that. Just run away from them. Alright, this guy is just talking about random propaganda soapbox stuff, I don't really care. Anyways, what I care about is this weather me. <laughs> In actuality, that just makes me think, just like, would I really talk about it like that? I, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so yeah, now that we got this weather vane, we're gonna exit the village. And by the way, these things, one second, let me kill this guy, hey, there we go. That ghost thing, this is a guinea, and the other guy was a po. I, I don't know why I get it mixed up, I just end up doing that by accident, and it's it's just a slip of the tongue. <sighs> Anyways, there is this big bomb that way. Did he drop 50 rupees? Okay, no, that was five. Sorry. <laughs> I thought he dropped 50 rupees. I was just like, is this guy dropping lots of money? All right, I'm taking it. Yo, 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 who is there? Who go I, I, I'm sorry, I cannot sing this. Friend or foe, who is it? Do I know? Hey, how's it going? For bombs you see to be searching, well then, leave me to my research. <laughs> what can I sell you now is nut nut nothing. Sorry, I ain't got nothing more for your mutton. Okay. 
but, but oh god oh, want the big bomb flower yes lucky you i'm lending that power for a one-time fee use it for hours and hours oh yeah the big bomb flower want to know about its power yeah i want to know the fire's been blooming in the garden it's really a bomb and it's a total bargain just on uh, go on tall it'll be blooming blah 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 okay but be careful just a slight scratch will make it explode <laughs> Oh my god, how much more text are you going to do? <sighs> Alright, so yeah, we're going to actually buy this bomb flower. Alright. Heck yeah. So, we're going to actually need this for later on, but I want to use it now because we can use it for more side quests. Ugh. Oh my god, I just, I forgot how much text that guy had. That was actually horrible. Now, before you take this bomb and actually blow up this rock down here, slash this bush right here, and... My am I 44. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, in my first playthrough, I thought it was underneath a rock or in a tree, and it was right there, and I was just like, are you, are you kidding me? Okay. This game likes to trick you sometimes. Okay. And luckily for us, the bomb flower doesn't take too long to grow. It grows automatically. And we're going to be taken with us on an adventure so we can get some more rupees. Because, you know, money is always good. Come on, bomb flower. Okay. All right, so use it right here. And in it, we got a new cave, so let's go inside and just open up a nice chest for 100 rupees. All right, it's cool. Now, we have this Maya Mai outside here, Maya Mai 45. And in order to get this, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go into Hyrule and then manipulate the power of the fisher. Cool thing about this game is our merch ability will be used now more frequently with the use of the fisher and going between worlds to solve puzzles. Now, there is a Maya Mai right here underneath this rock. Unfortunately, we do not have the means to pick up this rock. <sighs> Anyways, before that, let's go in here. This is a treasure cave. Now, this is... Well, this is going to be an interesting treasure cave or a three-dimensional puzzle. Either way, basically, you're going to want to use your Kuko to fly over and then drop onto these platforms so you can get all of the rupees. Unfortunately, it's kind of finicky to get all of them. So I might speed up because I might screw up. So speed up. Okay, so that was the last one, so now we can get out of here! <sighs> I hate these wind things, they knock you off. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, so now that we're done with that, let's move on and let's go back to Lowro and pick up that Mai Mai. So let's go back through this fissure right here. And through the power of interdimensional travel, we are now on higher ground, which gives us the ability to merge into this wall right over here and pop off this Mai Mai. Mai Mai 45. Cool. Now, there's a chest right here that I want to get, so quickly end it in, in. So, see you guys when I get it. Okay, and in this chest, 100 rupees. Cool. Alright, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back more towards um, ah, Thieves Town in order to play a mini game. And we're very familiar with this mini game. <sighs> Welcome back to Rupee Rush. So just give me a second. Sorry about that. Quick cutout because I had to adjust my watch, so I have my timer out. Alright, ready to rush? Nah, not my style. To roll. To, eh, whatever. So look here, this is Rupee Rush. I'm not gonna sell you on it. I will say this though, it's not a bad way to make some good loot. I'll give you 30 seconds to grab as many rupees as you can. If you come back and talk to me before your time is up, you get to keep all your rupees. It's not that easy though, because there's no timer. 
Buy some rupee brush, it's only 100 rupees. So yeah, basically the same premise as before, but in order to get this piece of heart, you're gonna have to get there within three seconds and have over 150 rupees. So yeah, we're gonna play. Okay, so get ready for this. All right, if you don't speak to me, okay. Now, actually, in here, there is a, um, ah, figures, um, there is a, uh, whatchamacallit, my, my, right over here. And again, just like the last Rupee Rush, time does matter, so you're gonna, you're gonna have to move quickly, and hopefully you'll pick up some good Rupees and not have to deal with these guys. Oh, nice. Okay, so how much time do I have left? All right. Not that bad, so let's see if we can wait for it. Okay. Okay, we should get it in time, but I may not have enough. Really? Ah, uh, figures. All right, so what I'm going to have to do is come back, and I'll be back once I get the piece of heart. All right, so yeah, I have over 182. I could have just went there without having to get it with, like, within a small time frame. Just in time. Or, sorry, I don't usually get so uh, excited, but thanks. Nice to see someone do really well here. And times three, I get 500 rupees. Nice. Look at that, a new record. Looks like you figured out the secret to Russian. That's a towering achievement. Here's your reward. And with it, <sighs> piece of heart 17. Awesome. If you think you got the time pat down, come again. Not gonna wait forever, though. All right. Okay, so now that we're done here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head more towards, well, where my house would be in order to get my my and, well, some extra little flavor text that's only in hero mode. Yeah, so there actually is some added benefits to playing hero mode besides, well, it being more difficult and ramping up maybe a few things. There is a particular piece of text that you don't get to see under normal conditions. Now, we got this vacant house right here, which conveniently also has another weather vane. Cool. Okay, new weather vane has been added. Never save. No, don't. Don't, don't you tell me what to do. I do what I want. I'm my own man. You can't tell me. All right, let's go in the house and let's stop being, like, you know, aggressive. <laughs> All right, so, oh, there's this room in here, and then there's a chest that we can't get to. Or can we? Well, what you have to do is equip your bombs, avoid that enemy right there, because he hits hard, go to the back right here, and if you merge onto the wall, there's actually a little cracked wall right here. Well, if we use our bombs on it, now we can enter through the back way. Let's go in. So inside this chest is a really good item, bottle number four. So we got that right there, cool. All right, and what's in here? Three days to go. She wants to do the right thing. I wish I could help her, but leaving is my only option. Two days to go. She's being duped, she doesn't realize that. He's just a leech, there's no choice but to go. One day to go. I have so little magic, enough to go there. Maybe not enough to come back, but tomorrow must be the day. I may never see her again, but I vow to save her from all of this. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. And, well, that's interesting. There's like a pink rabbit on it. I wonder where we've seen that before. Ah, eh, it must be nothing important. But yeah, that's actually flavor text that you can only get in this game. Now, there's actually a little theory about this when Majora's Mask 3D didn't come out yet. People thought that was like more of a brief explanation in kind of a push to the Anju and Cafe side quest from Majora's Mask. But it's actually for something that's a little bit more plot important that we'll go over later on in the game. Okay, and that was my my 47. Now, with all of that, let's head back to Thieves Town, and let's try to go to the next dungeon, shall we? Okay, now we're back in Thieves Town. So, what you want to do is come over to this door right here, and... Who's there? Nobody gets past me, unless you know all the words to my ultra-secret thief password song. I'll start the lyrics and you finish them. That is, if you can. Here we go. 
<clears throat> and this is the song from earlier. A smart thief fears the boss's wrath. I'd rather be walking on a cliff, walking a narrow path. Sometimes it hurts too much to care. You think knowledge is power, but it's really despair. Every time I say I'm leaving, this accursed life sets me right back to deceiving. Nah, just kidding. Thieving. Wow, what a fetching voice. Come on in, buddy. And with that, we've opened up the next dungeon. So next time, what we're going to be doing is entering Thieves' Hideout. So until then, everybody, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.